What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video. Today I've got an attribute update for you guys. Why is my guy clapping like that? Higher than Elon Musk, so high stars and dust. And I got a colorful aura, like I got neon guts. So as you guys can see, I'm a 91 overall, and I have almost every badge max. Right now I have Putback King, Hustle Rebounder, Hall of Fame. And Lob City Finisher, that badge goes to gold. I'm about halfway there. That badge is hard to get because lobs are broken this year. Um, other badges I don't have maxed yet. Glue Hands, that's kind of luck. And it's kind of hard to get steals as a center. Recently, I was playing like Pro-Am. And I got free throwaways to gold, finally. So yeah, two more badges to get to max. Glue Hands and Lob City Finisher. And then I maxed all my badges. Also right here, I'm 71% to 92 overall. So that's going to be coming soon. Road to 99. Um, I have not posted on that series in a while, maybe about a month to three weeks, something like that, but new episode coming real soon. And right here, most of my things are maxed, like layups and dunks, they're both one away from max, mid-range one away, three-pointers maxed, even though I don't need that, ball handling one away, passing one away, and yeah, you can see the rest. So right here is like my jump shots, my hop jumper, spin jumper, all that stuff. My jump shot, I'm not gonna show you guys yet because I'm actually gonna make a separate video on that, so that's why that's blurred out. So for my free throw, I have Kobe Bryant. As you can see, this animation is really smooth and it's pretty helpful for Pro-Am, uh, dribble pull up. I had Athletic 11 before, but Normal 13 is much better, much smoother, even though I don't use it that much on my center. Uh, spin jumper, hop jumper, always been the same. I got Normal 9 for the spin jumper. Hop jumper, Normal 14. This one is very good on any player, as long as you know how to use it. Then for my post fade, I've kept it 13 all year. Probably one of the best post fades, 13 and 11, as you can see, 11 right here. This one's also pretty smooth, but I like 13 a little bit more, so I'm gonna stick with that. So for my post hook, I actually used to have it as Shaq. I changed it to hook one, because I feel like the animations are just better. Like, I never really do post hooks unless it's on accident, because I feel like post fades are better, drop steps, post hooks don't really get you anywhere. But when I do get into post hook animations, this one creates a lot more space. Like. If you look at the Shaq one right here, it's pretty lame. He just turns and throws the ball in. He doesn't create any space or anything. So that's why I switched to hook one. And then for post hop shot, post shimmy fade, post shimmy hook, I've always had the same. Those don't really matter. I feel like the animations are all the same. And yeah, let's move on to some dribble moves. These I've kept the same all year. They're very good actually. I haven't broken ankles or anything because my ball control is really low. I don't have ankle breaker badge. But on the fast break, these can actually help me get past people, especially the moving crossover. And then right after I do that, I do a moving behind the back. Like this move right here, it may not look so good because it doesn't look like it creates that much space, but it is so fast and it can get you past defenders like easily. Spins I don't really use, but this spin is actually pretty fast. Like look at this animation. Uh, Right there, that's the fast spin animation that you can get out of this. Moving hesitation, normal one. This is probably the best in the game for all archetypes. Um, rhythm dribbles, I have normal four. It's probably the best out of the ones I can get, even though I hardly ever use this. Size of packages, same thing. Normal four, don't use it, but it's probably the best in my opinion. Um, hesitation combos, this one, this move I don't use that much either, but it's pretty good if you know how to use it. And then crossover combos, normal one, I just kept it the same. Uh, between the legs that doesn't really matter because on big man it just it gets you in bad animations when you do this move because of the ball control and same with behind the back so for my layups this is really the only layup i can get as a big man the other ones are trash and then for dunks i have some reverse dunks here basic dunks here i got some big man dunks cradle dunk that move it like never gets blocked and it's so fast and then big man tomahawks this one is very good because it hardly ever gets blocked. It's not like a cockback or anything. Then leaning slams. This is pretty good. And baseline reverses. This is a must-have. And he just he just missed the dunk. Okay. So anyway, yeah, baseline reverse. This is a must-have move on any player. It doesn't even have to be this exact one, but you need reverse dunks on any player. Speaking of reverses, I also have the big man reverse. This move is pretty good. It's actually very fast, which is weird because big men are pretty slow. And then last but not least, I had to add something flashy. I got the front windmills in there. And if you scroll all the way down here, big man contact dunks, the only contact dunks I can get, sadly. Moving into these pregame intros, I finally got this backflip when I hit 91 overall. I don't really plan on changing it. It's pretty good. And then for celebrations, every time somebody hits a three, I just use this animation. I find it pretty funny. 
Uh, it could make me lose games though. So, I don't do it too much unless I'm up by like a ton. And for dunking, I have the flex. This one is nice. And then for two pointers, I have the fall for up and down and then left and right, I use the hot hand. And for blocks, I, I always forget to use this every time I get a block out of bounds, but I do have the fall. And then for flops, I have the fanatic. For park post game, I have a backflip. Then I also have this dance. Uh, I don't even use this that much. I just use the backflip pretty much. Then I have the worm. Uh, this was one of the first ones I bought. I don't use it that much. And then this is the one I use when you beat someone by a lot. You got to kick them in the face. Then for walking around, I hardly ever do that because it's so slow. No one ever walks around. I have stride kicks. Jogging around, I have the prince. And running around, the fastest run in the game, the LeVar ball run. Then for emotes, you gotta have at least one dance in there. So I got Michi hit them folks too. All the way at the bottom, I have another dance. Have backpack kid. Uh, had too much. That's like a that's like a flop, I guess. Like when you're not in the game, you just want to flop at something. And then I have ice. I don't know what this is. It's like a spaz attack or something. I don't know why they put this in the game, but I I, I don't even know why I have it honestly. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. Hopefully, I can hit 92 overall soon. As you guys saw from the beginning, I'm like 70%, so hopefully that'll come soon. Road to 99 video coming out soon, probably later this week. Uh, I just gotta find people to play with. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit subscribe. We're at about 12, 10 subs right now, a little less than that. But yeah, hit subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'm out. Peace. I think it's catching up to me. I think it's catching up to me. Nobody's catching up to me. Nobody's catching up to me. I'm like, can I get some company? I'm like, can I get some company? I'm like, damn, I'm really undefeated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's catching up to me. I think it's catching up to me. Nobody's catching up to me. Nobody's catching up. Like, can I get some company?